Hello, everyone. I'm Tom Ivanetti. Welcome to Rebo Report, second installment of Be Informed. This video series is provided by Benutech, makers of Rebo Gateway and Rebo Collaboration Systems for real estate professionals. Whether you're fairly new to real estate or are a seasoned professional like myself, you may pick up a few things or two on this series. So stay tuned. When it comes to real estate taxes related to an annual state fee on real property based upon the value, these taxes are imposed by local or state government. A real estate tax charged on the value of property is known as a property tax and often referred to as an ad valorem tax. This tax is based upon the value of property in the jurisdiction where it lies. A tax assessed can be disputed if it relates to a similar home in the city or county with a disregard to any of the additional improvements or amenities that the property has. There are different types of taxes when it comes to real estate, but the most common is property taxes. Property taxes are listed as being the main source of income <clears throat> for the majority of municipalities. Therefore, it is crucial that they are paid for and not left as a debt. An encumbrance exists on the property when an owner has failed to pay their property taxes and possibly accumulated as a tax debt. If the tax debt grows to be too large or left unpaid for a long period of time, the municipality can petition a court to declare the home as a foreclosure and attempt to sell it. The profits made from the sale of the home, whether privately or through a public auction, would be used to settle the debt of unpaid taxes. The term ad valorem is Latin for according to value. The term is used to describe certain types of taxes, specifically property taxes. The reason for this is because a property tax is established and based upon the value of the property, such as a home. The home would be appraised by someone hired through the tax assessor to determine its worth. The value can be established with such varying factors as the fair market value or the cost it would, it would take to replace the home. So once the home has been appraised, the tax assessor would impose a tax on the property of whatever the value is. This ad valorem tax would have to be paid off every year on the property and it becomes a lien on the property on the first day of the calendar year. To reiterate, ad valorem tax refers to a levy that is based upon the assessed value of the real estate property or even personal property. This tax is placed on the property every year by the tax collector and can be paid during the tax calendar year. An ad valorem tax on real estate property is based on the value of the property's worth as assessed by an appraiser. The term itself is Latin for according to or at value. Real property taxes include not only the building of the property, but also the land, structures, and any other fixtures or improvements disregarding uh, tools, machinery, equipment, etc. They are existing on the property. So an example would be a mechanic's auto body. The building would be taxable and the land, but not the inside of the garage or any of the equipment that is being used for the commercial property. The appraisal of real estate property can be based upon a few different factors. These deal with the surveying the value, price of similar property in terms of a home within the same town or county. This can help make a judgment in relation to the size of the home and its amenities. The house will also be valued along with any additions or improvements that may have increased the value, as well as a fair price for the property given the market status at the time. The term used to determine this is fair market value, which refers to the price a prospective buyer would be willing to pay for the property, as well as the price that an owner would accept if they were able to sell, and lastly, the homes can be appraised also based upon the cost it would take to rebuild or replace the home entirely in case of loss. An ad valorem tax are usually assessed on the first day of the calendar year, January 1, every year. Once the value is determined by the appraiser, a dollar value is given to the property with a later assessed for taxes. The tax collector appraiser will also establish an ad valorem mileage rate, which is sometimes referred to as a tax rate. This is the rate of tax per thousand dollars of taxable value. Municipalities sometimes depend on their basis of income and ad valorem property taxes. This property tax can also include other personal property of an owner and can be set on such accessories as jewelry or larger objects like automobiles. 
In most places, these will not include household goods or certain types of personal property. Once a property has been appraised and taxed, it could be subject to future inspections over time to determine if the value has changed over that property. This can be due to the use of the property and its current state, its current market value, in relation to any depreciation or improvements done on the property, as well as the income of the property, if it is a commercial business. I hope this helps you understand short sale, encumbrances, and taxes. For more information on, on tons more videos, please bookmark Rebo Reports and check back regularly. We are constantly replacing new videos. So be informed and be brilliant. Again, I'm Tom Ivanetti, and thanks for watching.